<laughs> nice and snuggies. Nice and snuggies, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another non-comprehensive product review vlog. In this vlog we are going to be looking at the Little Life Voyager S4. This guy. The first thing to note, this is not a paid for advertisement. I bought this bag myself directly from the Little Life website. They are not endorsing me to make this video. It was just that when we were doing our research there wasn't actually any video content so I thought I'd give my own unbiased opinion about this particular baby carrier. So we've had this bag for a few weeks now after finally deciding that enough was enough of lugging around a pram whilst going on our rambling hikes. <laughs> Nobody wants to be that guy. Okay, so in terms of core specs, this is a very lightweight bag, it's very sturdy, it's very durable. You've got some metal rods that run up the front and up the back, which allows the baby to then slot inside and it's very sturdy. Like most of the bags in the Little Life range, there's a foot holder here where you can place your foot, keep the base to the ground whilst you're putting the baby inside the baby carrier. It currently retails at around about 179 pounds, which is quite a lot for a baby carrier bag, but after our research, we just felt that this, for our needs, kind of really suited what we were looking for. The reason we went for the Little Life Voyager S4, as opposed to any of the other bags in the range, we were very tempted by the S3, is because of the extra luggage. So, this bag here is actually detachable and can make a little rucksack so that when the child's a bit older they can use that to maybe take to school or whatever. So in combined storage there's around about 30 litres worth. Throughout the bag there's loads of other little storage areas. On the side there is a thermal pocket for storing warm bottles. You've got two hip storage bags and on the far side there's another storage area here where we've got some binoculars. Overall the bag is extremely easy to adjust. There's lots of straps for really securing the child into the bag but also making sure that it's comfortable on yourself. The bag is suitable for all shapes and sizes. I'm 5 foot 11 and it fits me really snug but the bag is really well equipped to suit people well over 6 foot by simply adjusting the strap. So to adjust the strap it's simply release the clip adjust the cord or strap, replace the clip, like so, and then you can adjust the shoulder straps as well. Okay, so what are the key features that we really like about this bag? So the first thing is the shoulder straps. As you can see, there is a mesh detail. Where it's very thin, but it's still very strong, very robust. It's also wide enough to displace pressure across the shoulders and also allows heat to escape through the straps. That's a really nice feature. In addition, you've got this mesh at the back, which again just helps allow sweat and heat to escape uh, without getting all sticky and messy. As I said earlier, there's loads of storage space throughout this bag. I think combined, there's over 30 liters worth when you include the uh, detachable rucksack. Uh, you've got two pockets on the hip uh, sides, which are great, so you can store your keys and your wallet, maybe a phone. With the Voyager, you get this extra neck pillow on the, on the back for the child so that they can really rest their head if they're leaning back, which is just a nice feature. I have to say, every time we've taken this bag out, the baby has fallen asleep pretty much straight away, which is an absolute bonus when you're going out for a long walk. The other key feature that we really liked about this particular bag is that it comes with a built-in sun visor. You simply unzip it from the top, Pull the sun visor out, unfold it, and secure it to the front. And there you go. The baby is nice and protected with this UV sun hood, and there's still enough light coming in at the front. And there's still enough light coming in at the front. Final aspect that we really liked about this bag, I think it's the only one in the range that comes with its own rain cover. As you can see here, the rain cover completely wraps its way around the bag, giving you a nice, dry, protective shield. There is still enough window area so that the child can still see out left and right and forwards. And then if, if the rain sort of starts easing off, you can simply zip this uh, panel up like so and then detach, and attach it at the top. Okay, so let's go and put this guy on. Okay, so let's go put this guy on. So as you can see, so as you can see, the bag fits really snugly against my back. You've got these nice hip straps which are really wide and supportive. They sit there and take a lot of the weight, particularly on the lower end. 
a strap going across the waist, a chest strap, and then you can tighten up with these cords, as well as further tightening by pulling down here. Okay, let's see how this thing performs in the wild. Lambs! Little lambs! Whee! Hey, what are you looking at? Um, apologies if the sound is really uh, windy. Because it's windy. Baby's asleep. Which is a bonus. <laughs> we've got we've got feed, we've got water, we've got hot water, we've got a drone, camera. What else we got? Isabel. Isabel. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It's wind. <laughs> Sleepy baby. Lammy babies. Okay guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the, that video. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty durable and robust bag. Uh, the baby absolutely loves it. We absolutely love it. It's really comfortable. Um, yes, it's a little bit pricey compared to perhaps some of the other bags in their range, but I think it's definitely worth the extra premium just because of the storage and the extra features that you get. Okay, so that concludes my non-comprehensive review of the Little Life Voyager S4. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos and tech reviews, uh, baby product reviews, whatever, vlogs, hit the little dingly dangly bell button and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you very much. Boom! To the front. And there you go. The baby is nice and protected with this UV sun hood and there's still enough light coming in. And there's still enough 